Hey, what's up? T-R-O-Y, the maker, checking in. Welcome to the project. If this is your first time here, I do project videos every week using a Glowforge laser printer. And if that's something that you like, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any of my new uploads. And in this project, I'm gonna show you how to design three different laser cut files that's based around jewelry from one design. Say someone sent you a file that looks like this. You send it to Glowforge Print and the only option that it gives you is engrave. So you engrave it, hoping that it's supposed to do what you want it to do. And it comes out looking like this. You're mad now. You think your machine is broke. You about ready to call Glowforge support. The reason why is because it's a bitmap. Most bitmaps that I have seen have came in JPEGs and PNG. And Glowforge Print will only let you engrave on bitmaps. Don't panic. I'll show you how I fix it using CorelDRAW. Before we jump into CorelDRAW, I am not an expert at CorelDRAW. I just know how to use it the way that I taught myself on how to use it. I'm pretty sure it's a lot of ways out there that's a lot more quicker or maybe even simpler than the way that I'm going to show you how I'm using it. But these are just the ways that I taught myself and it works for me. Once you get your file uploaded, the first thing we got to do is we got to take this JPEG or PNG and turn it into a vector so then we can export it as a PDF file. The PDF file, when it's open in Glowforge Print, will allow us to cut and engrave. And to determine that if it's a bitmap, you go up here to view modes and you wanna select wireframe. And it's gonna give you a look similar to this with the box around it. But we don't want that look. So I'm gonna change it back to enhance, select it, and we wanna trace this bitmap. Go up here to trace bitmap, go to outline trace, line art, and it's gonna trace the bitmap like so. And you can press delete original image. That's what I normally do. And I just kinda like leave every all the settings the same. As long as it looks good right here, I just continue. Okay, now it's basically traced it and we turned it into a vector. How do we know if it's a vector? Go up here to view modes, wireframe, and you should see lines similar to this right here. Okay, let's go back to enhance. Right now, you can export this as a PDF, and when you upload it to Glowforge Print, you will get this type of design right here, where it'll let you engrave and cut. And if that's something that you're looking for, and you'll get this type of look right here. This could be what you're looking for, as you can see, and engrave the C and the J, and it cut it out. You could want to cut the C, J out also. So you just go up here and change this engrave, and you change it to cut and then when you cut this out and you'll get this look right here as you can see it cut out the cj like you wanted it to and also the circle and you also got some little cj letters right here say this is the look that you're going for in my opinion this is the best looking one let me show you how i did it since we already did the tracing and to make sure that it's still a vector go up here to view modes wireframe you see the wireframe, you see the lines. Go back to enhance. First thing I like to do is just make a copy. Select it, edit, copy, make a second page, edit, paste. Go back to the first page. So the first thing I would do is go up here to this little bucket and go to smart field. And I would click right inside this white part right here and I'll select it like so. Click out of it, select the black and I would unfill it. I will go to unfill, select out of it. Then this blue looking color that we use to do the smart field I'll select it and change it to black and I'll leave it like that. Go to that second page where we made that duplicate copy. I will select it, go up here and put a hairline while it's still selected, unfill it. And I go up here to ungroup, select the C, delete, select the J, delete. And these two lines right here, I will select it. You have to go up here to object break curve apart, select the inside one, delete it. This right here is gonna be your outline. I like to change the color to red. So I go over here, properties, make sure the pen is selected, RGB, and I just like to change it to a shade of red. Select out of it, close it out, and I'll take this, edit and copy, go back to the first page, edit, paste, and there we have it. That's how we achieve this look right here. Export it as a PDF, send it to Glowforge Print. These are three different ways you can take one design 
and design three different laser cut files. Write down in the comments, let me know which one is your favorite. Is it one, two, or three? And that's how I design in Corel Draw, whether I'm doing charms or earrings. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next project. Peace.